Hi there and welcome to another cool smartphone video uh, with Gary and today we're going to have a look at something a little bit different, something I've not looked at for a while. Uh, we're going to look at a tablet. Now this is the OnePlus Pad Go uh, which is OnePlus's entry-level tablet and without further ado let's dive in and have a look. Cheers! So here we have the brand new OnePlus Pad Go um, in its retail packaging. So we'll just take that out there, tablet on top, we'll just move that off to the side and come back to that in a moment. Standard OnePlus, red uh, packaging, blank info card underneath there. We've got a red cable club card, uh, this is uh, for points that you can use in their store. Sim ejector tool, more on that later. And then your quick guide and safety guide and then your standard USB type USB C type C and uh, type A red cable uh, charging lead uh, there is no power uh, no power supply in the box which is becoming par for the course now so we'll just move all of this off to one side very very thin box as well as for the tablet itself, we have the Twin Mint variety here, and you'll notice on the back there, there is actually a IMEI number. And this is because, um, much to my surprise, because I didn't do much research on this product before I got sent one, these, the OnePlus Pad Go has inbuilt GP, uh, GPRS and all the way up to a uh, 4G data connection, which is nice to know. So I'll just pull this off. Sorry, I'm making a bit of a dog's ear out of this. There, that's fine. Very, very slim device. So you can see straight away extremely slim and um, that thickness is only 0.689 centimeters the width from here to here is 18.804 with a height of sorry the width will be there 18.804 with a height of 25.52512 as they're measuring the dimensions in this orientation. However, given that the camera is mounted in the back, you're more than likely going to be using it in landscape. In terms of the display size, just get this booting up. We have an 11.35 inch display diagonal with a resolution of 24808 by 1720. And that is a 260 ppi refresh rate of 90 hertz with touch sampling rate of 180. Color gamut is 96% of NTSC. Screen to body ratio 86.4, which is understandable for a tablet because you don't you need to have some sort of bezels so you can hold the thing. Contrast is 1500 to one. Brightness is 400 nits, typical um, as an average. So it's not going to be the brightest tablet in the world. Um, your screen type is an LCD. It's an LTPS screen. In terms of audio, while this boots up, you can see we have two speakers on either side. So these are actually Dolby powered quad speaker, uh, Dolby Atmos quad speakers, uh, which should give you a really good sound stage. Internals, we have um, the platform is powered by a MediaTek Helio G99, which is a chip I'm not overly familiar with. Um, it is also uh, sporting up to 128 gigabytes of UFS, UFS 2.2 storage with 8 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM. And 
uh, it's got an 8,000 milliamp hour battery. Now I have actually taken the time to set this up, so just pop in my pin code. There we are. And you can see that is our um, loading screen straight away. A nice um, uncluttered user interface. And then swiping up will bring up all of your other apps. Swipe down from one side, you get your notification, your control panel. Swipe down from the other side, you also get the control panel. Um, so there's no split between notifications and control panel, which is something I like. Uh, something that was a bit annoying with other devices. Um, continuing the tour around the sides, we have our volume button down and up, uh, pinhole microphone, um, antenna brake lines, uh, our Dolby Atmos indication there, speaker, speaker, USB type C does not support uh, display out as far as I can see. Another pinhole mic. Totally blank on the bottom. And then when it focuses, um, more speakers. This is your um, SIM card slot. I'm actually going to open that because I want to show you what you've got in there. So in the SIM card slot, you have a memory card and SD card, so from micro SD and also nano SIM. So this does support up to one terabyte of expandable storage as well, which is something I'm not used to seeing. And then we've got our power button just on the side there. Around the back, we've got this uh, dual uh, finish. This is kind of a slightly matte finish, whereas this is more of a shiny finish. However, this is actually the stickier one. And we've got our rear facing camera, which is uh, just a single lens. As you can see, this back cover is a absolute dust magnet, uh, fingerprint magnet. So let's try and clean that up a little bit. So single camera lens, and you're looking at an eight megapixel camera with 1080p, 720p video recording, 30 frames per second, and it's got EIS image stabilization, so um, electronically stabilized. Your front camera, again, is eight megapixel, um, 1080 by 720, 30 frames per second, no stabilization on the front there. Connectivity wise, as I mentioned, we've got, um, obviously we've got 3G connectivity. In addition to that, we've also got Wi-Fi, and it will go uh, support Wi-Fi 802.11 ABGN. So again, nothing amazing there, uh, but it will support up to Wi-Fi 5. Bluetooth is uh, Bluetooth 5.2, and it supports aptX HD and LDAC and aptX, as I mentioned. Uh, USB Type-C, no mention of whether it's a display port. Audio device ports, uh, there's no 3.5mm jack, so again it is Type-C. And you've got all your um, GPS things that you would expect as well. Um, it does support face unlock uh, via the front facing camera. I just haven't got that set up yet. And that's pretty much it for the specs. Um, so this is currently available on OnePlus's website and they are actually doing a discount at the moment. So if you were to buy this very device, you can currently get that for £269, uh, down from 299 and it only comes in this twin mint color, um, but you can opt to get a OnePlus Go Folio case, uh, which would be quite useful. Now, unlike uh, its big brother, the OnePlus pad itself, not the Go version, this does not have, as you can see here, it does not have the pogo pins. So it's not compatible with the keyboard accessory. And I believe it's not also not compatible with the uh, OnePlus Stylo accessory. However, this is not designed for that category. This is designed for someone who needs a, sorry, just unlocking it. 
a simple, easy to use tablet um, that they can just easily pick up and, and go. Um, as with all OnePlus products, it does come with a couple of preloaded apps. So you've got their recorder, calculator, um, a clone option, so you can import stuff from your phone, which is exactly what I did. Community, which is their forums, and the OnePlus Store. Going on to the OnePlus Store, this is where you'll be able to purchase other devices, accessories, etc. And if I quickly go to the tablet one, there you go. That will show you. Currently available two six nine pounds. So that is just a very quick and dirty hands-on with the OnePlus Pad Go. I'm going to be using this for the next couple of days just to get my impressions of it. I have already been using it for a few days and I've been quite happy with it. And there will, of course, be a full written review available on coolsmartphone.com. Uh, well worth a look if you are looking for an inexpensive tablet uh, for yourself or just for sofa surfing or indeed for a child or uh, elderly relative. Thanks very much and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.